We are starting now the playoffs of the Asia Champions League for India. $12,500 prize pool. Pretty much what's going to happen is we have the 6th place playing against the 5th place, one of their plays against 4th place, one of their plays against 3rd place from week 1 and week 2. That's what's going to happen. All best of 3s and the winner of this entire thing will make it to Thailand to be part of the Asia Champions League. We have now Clown 5 against FS Esports starting up the day. Clown 5 going for Umbreon, Blaziken, Clefable, Glaceon and a Chandelure. And for FS Esports, we have a Buzzwoy, a Blissey, a Blastoise, Venusaur, and a Mew. So yeah, we're crowning the best team of India today. One of these teams have a long way, though. They have to beat pretty much every single team in the entire India-Asia Champions League to make it to Thailand. So, you know, maybe Clown 5 makes the miracle run. Imagine Clown 5 just wins every single game today. They would play five best of threes and then become champions. That would just be absolutely insane. So yeah, but you know, they could still win. These two teams, they got 5th and 6th place in the uh, group stage format. But they have to beat every single team now. Every single team, if they want to qualify. They still have a chance though. Just a lot of games have to be played. As you have currently have Skirter going for an invade right here. He's going to headbutt back in and he gets the first buff of the game with his water gun. Early invade here by FS Esports. Who are struggling pretty hard when it comes to the group stage. For sure, like, like one of the worst teams. Um, but they still had good games as well. Not like, you know, they were just always getting stomped on. But they just couldn't win games. They couldn't win best of threes. As you love last going on right here. Squirt are joining back on this bottom path. As you have Padesi here looking for level 4. Should be able to get Blissey quite, quite soon. As the Atari is simply to Sludge Bomb. And Clown 5 will not be here in time. Clown 5 will not quite make it. SFE Esports takes over all these Ataria. Looks like they have much better early games so far. Already level 5 for the Water Hotel. So already got Hydro Pump ready to go. Of course, I'm good at last hitting, you know. Once you get Hydro Pump, last hitting becomes much, much easier. As you have Umbreon Evolution also done now. Everyone is getting slowly the evolutions done. But Clefairy currently struggling. It's super powered and taken down FS Esports here with AKO. Basically, you know, hitting level 5, but it's quite weak still. It's going to get super powered right here. He has to be super careful. It takes so much damage. Like against the 5 bus where you have no chances, Blaziken. But nice Blaze Kick into the aerial ace. Gets super powered again. Armbrion is here now. And now Peace is in a very bad position. It's going to get mean locked. He's going to get overheated as well. And taken down. As we have the mid Ataria spawn. We'll go over to FSE Sports. As they rather go for the KO than mid Ataria. Which I think is fine as well. Can they get 24 points? And no, he gets beamed. The Blaziken gets beamed. Trying a bit too much, but we have Milo also on Venus, so Venus is going to eject button to safety. And actually makes it out alive, and now this fight is looking great for FS Esports. As they move forward, they're going to take down also the Chandelure. They take down Umbreon. And Clown 5 going a bit too aggressive here, losing three members in this push. Also you know, going to the enemy center area. And now we have FS Esports going forward right here. And it's going to go 27, 18 and 30 points. Breaking the first goal of the game. Quite early though still. Which allows now Blaziken to farm up for level 8. We have now the 3 Indity spawning on the top left side. So Blaziken will be able to farm level 8 quite fast and quite easily now, pretty safely. And as Glacier though, hits level 9 already. So Clown 5 still has a lot of experience. They actually have a level 9 Glaceon, level 8 Chandelure. So, doing quite well on experience still. Lots of Ice XP damage already coming through, but Blair is on level 9 Venusaur. That Venusaur on level 9. Is absolutely scary. Only knife with the solar beam could just completely one shot Glaceon. Is he gonna look for those beams? Regi is not dropping to half HP. As we have FE Esports going forward, Regi is to half half HP. What's gonna. Yeah, that's gonna secure it, right? No chance. No chance for Clown 5 to do anything in this fight. They're gonna go for the Regi on top path instead. With some points himself. As he's gonna look for push right here. Is Venus gonna be knife move? Super power here onto Umbreon. He does get stunned out of it though. The beam completely goes into the. I don't know where, what he's aiming at. Blair seeing some demons as FS Esports is going to break the goal though and Clone 5 is also going to break the top goal. So now 126 to 162 points. The double solar beam combination for FS Esports of course is going to be super deadly in those late game team fights. Clone 5 has to be very careful not just get caught by it. As right now, the game is going to calm down a bit. There's nothing really to do. 
There's only one tier one go left, so that's the only thing Clown 5 can really do right now. Let's look for this bottom goal. I guess they're gonna do it actually. The Isaac is beyond to Blastoise. He's taking a lot of damage. But so far, this overheat Chen Lua can't really get in range too much. Like overheat Chen Lua in this game is quite difficult to play. Like he cannot reach Mew, he cannot reach Venusaur. Honestly, I would like to see some people play some more flamethrower. I think it's uh, quite, quite good as well. Because how is he going to reach this back line with uh, overheat? Quite, quite difficult. Are you going for the old school in prison and overheat build? It just feels a bit outdated nowadays. Beams are just flying through. But yeah, neither, neither team will be doing anything right now. Again, there's not much to do. As we pull, teams are just farming. Waiting for objectives to spawn back up. We have 10 unit moves up, so next team fight might be explosive unless they trade objectives again. Top bot Reggie is pretty much spawning at the same time. So the teams can decide to either split it up or look for a team fight. As we have a team fight for breaking out, Snarl here onto Mew has to maybe use unite move first. The cameraman currently looking at a 21 back cap. There's a team fight happening in the middle of the map. What's up with these cameramen? There's a team fight happening! There's a team fight happening. Shenlu takes on Blastoise. As yes, they're gonna try to go for Blissey next. Ice Shard's gonna land as well. Isaac's spear is gonna be in range now. Can't quite reach it with that Isaac's spear. As Umbreon's gonna block away the boost out attack with that Snarl Shield. And now Reggie Steel. But they have Venusaur Unite moves there. Is Venusaur gonna Unite move? goes through for the. My, I can't talk, man. What was that? Venusaur Unite goes in into the Solar Beam. As they're gonna try to go for Umbreon next. Umbreon also gonna fall three KOs of FSE Sports as we have Blastoise surfing forward. Looking for some more, but three KOs for FSE Sports, also objective secured. Venusaur with a very late Unite, but still kind of worked. I thought, like, I was so confused, is he gonna Unite move? Is he gonna Solar Beam? Because he was waiting so long for it. But in the end, FSE Sports gonna take this first team fight. Well, not first team, I mean, it's kind of the first team fight, really, of this game. If you're being honest, right? That was the first real team fight that we had in this game. It was a five against five, so... Vigileki is still up on top as well. Venusaur on level 13. Of course, looking quite, quite strong. And uh, yeah, Clone 5 doesn't have many ways of getting towards this Venusaur. They have no dive really, except for Blaziken, I guess. But Blaziken can't just run through the entire main team. As you have Basu locked down, although he's going to get KO'd. They're going to look for Blissey next. As Blissey has popped the XP. Mew actually going forward with the Ampel Field, looking for the one shot maybe onto Channel Lua. Goes in with another boost auto attack. And wonderfully done, the double surf coming out. They have not just only double solar beam, they also have double surf. As Berserk and his team pick up three quick KOs on top path right here. Man, that double surf as well. Absolutely deadly. They can pick up a free Ridge Lecky now. Level 14. For the Venusaur. Level 14. As the Ridge Lecky walks out a bit too far. It's gonna reset. It's gonna take a bit longer, but you know, the later they take it, actually, the better. Because it's lo closer to Rayquaza, so it doesn't really matter all too much. But Clone 5 now looking for the bot push, they're going to try to break this goal right here, and they can do so, they're going to get Blastoise, they're also going to get Blissey, trying to defend right here, outnumbered, as 50 points, will go in for Glaceon, that is huge for Clone 5. 217 to 138 points now, they're actually in the lead, and uh, Glaceon about also at level 40 now. Bit of a mistake here by FSE Sports. See, the Reggie Lake is even worth it, so they, they did Reggie Lake, but they lose two members, bot goal, and are behind on points, just because they did Vigileki. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Nah, it's a great objective, guys, I promise you. Vigileki is a great objective. The problem is you have to invest so much time of actually taking it down, that the enemy team can just do something across the entire map. And Cloud5 just capitalizes on it. They see, oh, Vigileki, have fun with it, guys. Just gonna go for bottom push instead. Blast is caught a bit right here, taking a bit of damage. Down to half HP, but Blissey should be able to soft boy. Him back up quite quite fast. As we have 130 left on the timer. Level 14 Glacier now against level 40 Venusaur. Who's gonna be the carry? Glacier right trying to walk up now. Blast is again caught a bit, has to surf back out. But Basso looking for the 50 back cap or 100 points. He's gonna smack it in and put FS Esports back into the lead now. Of this first game of the playoffs. Blast going forward now with the but they're looking for the engage. Venusaur is completely going to miss. He's completely out of range. Misjudging. Where the enemy team is going to be, and it's going to cost FS Esports a lot as they already lose Blissey. Completely with He's going to find another Soul Beam, though he's going to eject button away to safety now. Blaziken on the chase. Onto this Venus, so Isaac is raining down on Blastoise. Blair living on literally one HP. Hadouken! He gets the Hadouken in and takes down the Venus, so three KOs so for Clone 5. 
Let's take on the startup. This requires a... And it should be easy. They have overheat. They just have Umbreon helping to zone out the Mew. And as long as Mew is getting zoned out, Buster is back now though. There's the Minook landing. Overheat's gonna be charged up any moment now. There's the Overheat. Overheat being charged up and secured, right? Surely. There we go. Actually, Chandelure gets it. But Clown 5 picked up the first Rayquaza of the India playoffs. And we have Umbreon scoring some points up here. And also scoring some points on bot path. So Clown 5 takes the first game. We have 75k damage on Glaceon and 74 on Venusaur. We have number two now for the side of FS Esports. We have Slowbro, Buswall, Hooper, Inteleon, and a Leafion. And on the right side, we have very tanky three defender for Clown 5 as they go Blastoise, Trevenant, Lapras, Venusaur, and a Cliff Fable. And you can already see Resonant Guard pretty much has become meta. We have two Resonant Guards on the left side for FS Esports, and we have two Resonant Guards on the right side as well. So this item has now conquered the uh, tournament scene for sure. I mean, it will be a, like, it might be an item even that five players at some point are going to play. Resonant Guard is just this strong and has so much value that you're going to see it being played a lot now, especially in every single defender. I think, I mean, every single defender should probably play Resonant Guard at this point. As we have, maybe first chaos already here for FS Esports, they have the water, double water gun lane against two defender. On spot and path, Lapras going for no XP share. So it's gonna try to be one of those carry Pokemon instead. Which I do like as well, still a lot. A high level, Lapras with water pulse and Ice Beat has a lot of damage. First blood already for FSC Sports. As they take down the Squirtle on top. And Buzzful looking a bit for the face stinger there. Can't quite connect it. First Ataria spawn is here now, so Blade being charged up. And Blair looking to take over this early game with that Solar Blade. Because late game is going to be difficult for Leafeon. Clown 5 is very tanky. 3 Defender, 3 Resonant Guards, Pedidens Venusaur, and Eclefable. So late game, the Leafeon will do probably absolutely zero. So, gotta take over the early game and snowball as much as they can. And I hope that late game his team's teammates are also going to do a lot of damage. As Buster will be able to win top path for now. Already with superpower, Obito will hit level 5 as well, though I hopefully it's served in Hydro Pump. Water Sport Rapid Spin is pretty, pretty bad when it comes to um, playing against Buzzfoil, because superpower interrupts it instantly. So, I assume it's going to be Hydro Pump. Would be surprised to see anything else. As we have mid Atari also going down very fast right here. The Solar Blade damage is still absolutely insane from Leafeon 2. As uh, now gang happening on Botpath here, Surf coming out, so much water gun damage from Inteleon. As we have Trevenant going down. Another KO for FSC Sports, he's looking for some more. We have Liquidation actually being played, interesting. Liquidation Felstinger, a bit I used to play a lot as well. I think the, I think that's a good adjustment right here though, going for the Felstinger with liquid, Liquidation in case you go for it. Because against these Defender you just have to auto attack a lot. You have to face thing, auto attack, face thing, auto attack. You have to do a lot of damage. And Talion has to put in a lot of work in to be able to uh, have enough damage in this game. So I think it's probably totally fine. We'll see. Again, Liquidation is nerfed, so I really don't know how much it does right now still. Its win rate has dropped by a crazy amount as we head into the first Reggie spawn. By Clown 5, the problem that they have, they don't really have objective damage. But Lapras going forward here, getting Telekinesis, Solar Bladed on, Leaf Blade forward as well, Blair is level 9, has to have up, same for Tillion, they can just fight this right here. As we have the Cover Man again, looking for the backup instead, as we head into Leaf Union Knight, hits on 4 or 3, as they take down 3 members of Clown 5, one of our team fight, 29 and 35 points go in, and 30 as well. Massive Leaf Union Knight coming through. As we have now the first objective and first goal going over to FSC Sports. Looking quite good in this early game. Alright. 124 to 39 points. And uh, these defender now, like, I, I really don't know what this team comp is supposed to do at some point. They also have, I mean, they have a Paladin's Venusaur. Um, but they're, they're lacking a lot of range. They have to always all in and run into a uh, slow bruce surf. So we we'll see how that's going to turn out. But uh, I don't have many hopes for Clown 5 now after this early game. As we have. I mean, FS Esports again, the late game is not 
you know, they might not have enough damage, but we shall see. Clone 5 have to score points, and they have to also have to go for Rayquaza. That, but there's a wonderful traveling combo, and as I say that, they just get CC'd into Oblivion as the Vigilake is walking down, getting close now. Nice surf here onto Leafian as well. They actually have Intellion looking for the basic attacks onto Vigilake, but he can't get it as Venusaur's Unite. is going to secure Berserk now, stuck on the rocks of the map. It's going to try to Spider-Man itself out, and he actually does so. Spider-Man and Teleon gets to safety. As the go gets broken though, Clown 5 able to push Rich Lecky and Basso flying up, flying in. Can he do anything with this little gravity on the ground? And Basso is going to fall for sure right here. Clown 5 now being so aggressive. The surf I do That surf eject button was beautiful by Obito. Absolutely beautiful surf eject button. Gets him all into the wall and stunned. In the end, only one more KO, but still. That was a very, very nice surf by Blastoise. With the eject button. And now Clown 5. Actually, not too bad in position after this top team fight. They're still missing level 9 for Trevenant, though. Would be important for him to get his Unite move up for this next fight. Should be able to do so now with his Ataria spawn. Gonna make quick work out of this one, and that should be level 9. As Venus was just trying to get to late game. Get level 13, get level 14. It's the only chance for Clown 5 to have enough damage. It's now down to this Venusaur. So I'm gonna try to funnel all that experience into the Venusaur. Yes, the tournament is live. Yes. Yes, the Veg Eyes. It's going to get started now. We have four Unites on the right side again. We have five Unites on the left side. No Tenno using now. Alpha Seas was knocking for the engage. The Kinesis onto Clefable. Yes, we have Solar Blade. Blast is already down. He couldn't use Unite move at all. He got Slope Unite move taken down. And now Venusaur is pretty far back though. He's going to Unite move quite early in. Paladins are running in, but the Solar Bait. No, Venusaur gets it! Venusaur actually secures it for Clone 5. They're going to try to be very aggressive now. Bus for Smackdown is going to land. But it's difficult to take down this Venusaur when it's hitting so many Giga Drains, but Lapras is going to fall through three members for Clone 5 go down, but this Venusaur is still alive. He's going to try to run back in, but he takes a huge Solar Blade and has to disengage now. Venusaur now on his way to level 13, so... I mean, it's really hard to predict who's going to take this one in the end. Very, very difficult to predict. I have no idea. FSC Sports late game is kind of weak. But Clown 5 just... Yeah, I mean, they can't, they can't really, like, secure too many KOs either. With what they have. As the drive's gonna happen, though, Traveling Unite here onto Hoopa and to Blasters Unite again. They're gonna try to Shane CC them. As they're gonna take down one, they're gonna take down two. Atelion is next, but he facing his way back into safety again. Lapis Express also coming through. Looking for Leafy, he's gonna find it. And I guess, okay, they just have to stun your opponents. Just stun them. Easy, right? We have 45, 50, and 10 points going in. And Clown 5 now actually in a point lead. They actually had him points. 206 to 163 points. With their triple defender team comp. Alright. Looking pretty good now, I have to say. As we have Atari going down right here as well. Liquidation onto Clefable. He's still looking for... No, he's actually with 13 on Tyrion as well. We we'll see how this final team fight is going to go for either team. Really hard to predict. As Venusaur is going to be level 14. And Clone 5 also picking up a free Rigeleki at the same time. I could see FS Esports just ripping Rayquaza. As they might be too scared to go for team fights now. They're in position for it. They might just rip it. Yeah, I think they're ripping it. Yep, they're just ripping it. And honestly, it might be cringe, but it's the right decision, I feel like. They're not going to just straight up in teamfights anymore. But Blast is going in now. This inside landing as well. They're going to slow Knight onto the Blast Toys, though. Rayquaza on HP. And it's going to all go over to the Leafeon. Leafeon secures it for FSC Sports. And yes, it might be cringe. But it's not over yet. 100 points going for Leafeon. As Venus is also going to score 100 points. Clown 5 still. Just barely behind now. As they're going to try to score on bot as well. Can they get 62 points? And yes, they can. Hooper doesn't basic attack. Koopa does not basic attack, and now we actually have Clone 5 in a point lead. Can they get rid of these shields? Is the question now. He just didn't auto attack. But Hoopa says the shield. Hoopa has to try and keep the shield up alive right now if they want to score some more points. Oh my god, it's so small. The shield is so small. Clone 5 with a 55 point lead. Oh man. Actually, no, Bla Bastos says the shield as well. Bastos has a massive shield, but he has no points. Only 28 in total with the double cap. And Super's gonna try to sneak itself in. They have to make sure that Hooper doesn't score. Basso's gonna score now some points. Venus is gonna jump in. 
We still have Clone 5 in elite. 50 seconds to go, though. Still a long way to go. Trevenant trying. But Leafion says the sheet as well. That's 40 points going in. Oh my god, Leafion had a small slip of a sheet left. And now FSE Sports is back in the lead. Just barely. Hooper lost the sheet, though. 35 seconds left. As Hooper's gonna get taken down. But oh my god, does Clone 5 know they're behind now? They're gonna pick up someone, but it's Trevenant has too many points. They're gonna speed over towards the left side, but Lapras needs some coins. Needs to find some AO synergy. Oh my god, he needs to find some Eos energy. He's gonna go in now. Looking for the wave as well. On to Leafion right here. Can they take on Leafion? Maybe Wutemma is going to play into the horn lead. Can they take on this Leafion? It would be coins maybe on the ground. But no, Trevenant is dropping solo on HP and he has 100 points left as well. Oh, that is tragic. That one HP shield on Leafion is going to win FS Esports this game by just 20 points. Here, damage number four, game number two. And we head into a third match. Draft number three now for Clown 5. We have Umbreon, Clefable, Basswell, Glaceon, and a Chandelure again. And FS Esports going back onto their Venusaur with a Blastoise, Snorlax, a Blissey, and a Leafeon. Let's get it. Final game. Whoever loses this one is out of the Asia Champions League in sixth place. So they will sadly be a bottom placed. But they still made it to the Asia Champions League at least. Um, but yeah, they will be ending in sixth place. And I think earning themselves $500. So if you want to get some more, you got to win this game right now here. As we have them heading towards the left side already. Berserk already level 4 right here. But the Swordblade doesn't quite get the last hit as Glacian is also going to hit. On to level 4. So team comes this time. I still like the Chandelure with the overheat this much, but we'll see how it's going to do. As Berserk... With that bot path Leafeon. It's going to try to get every single last right here with that Solar Blade. Charging up again any second now. Charging it up and going for the last hit. And of course easily secured. Not much you can do about it. This is why Leafeon, even though it's one of the... For some reason Leafeon has one of the worst win rates in the entire game. But I think again it's just the skill issue of players in ranked I feel like. When it comes to Leafeon. As they played so much in tournaments. Just because level 4 you get every single last hit so easily. And you get to level 4 also super, super fast. And again, now it's just level 6 already. Getting every last hit. We are almost have Umbreon going down. Yes, Berserk is on his way to level 8 so fast already. Cloud 5 looking for a gank on top path. Actually looking for an invade right here. We have Shenlu invading. He's gonna get Shedinja doid though. And he's gonna get taken down. What is this invade by Clown 5? They're invading with a level 5 Shenlu. Who doesn't have any escape abilities. And they lose two members at the same time. Maybe they were scared of getting invaded by Leafeon, so they went to invade instead. It could be it, right? As we have 30 and 20 points going in for FSE Sports. I think that could be it. They were scared of getting invaded by Leafeon, so they just went to the right side instead. Um, but yeah, Leafeon was shown on bot path still, so... It was a bit too, uh, too over-aggressive. And now, a Clone 5 is so far behind already. Already level 8 for Berserk King. Go for Unite move, right? He does go for Unite move. Drops onto Clefable. Shenlu gets taken down, Leaf Blade forward. Still so gotta be a bit careful right here. He's gonna get Isaac Speed. Can they take on Berserk? Can they take him down? Isaac Speed's landing, but they're getting blocked as the double Solar Blade is gonna pick the 2 KO. And he's actually going to live as well. He's level 9 already now. Level 9 Leafeon. This is criminal. 13 points go in. 29, 24. For FSE Sports as they break the first goal of the game. Quite early again. Which allows Clown 5 now to farm a bit back up, but you know, FSE Sports already has so much experience, I guess they don't care. They just want to open up the map a tiny bit. And, uh, you know, they're just gonna break down this bottom path goal. As Blast is actually doing quite well up here. Has half a level lead over the bus wall. So FSE Sports currently winning in every single department. As Leafin is just gonna vomit on the Red Eyes. Clown 5 is gonna try to make a play on top. But FSC Sports is around, so it's not guaranteed either. It is not guaranteed. As Ridge Lake is going to go low now, we have Super Power coming through, but the Solar Beam will not be able to grab it. As Clown 5 picks up the Ridge Lake here on top. Looking for something now, but they have to be careful. They're running into Venusaur and Defin Unite move right here, so they have to be very careful. Nice Leaf Blade away from the Smackdown. Defin almost getting caught, but makes it out. Nice <laughs> three man heavy slam. But no follow up. The Ridge Lake actually walks in. There's a Venus Unite landing now into the beam as well. And the serve. They're going to try to just get Buswell away from this, but they can't. 30 points go in. 
for the bus roll. 11 points also for Cliff Fabian. They're going to lose one member already, though. But Leafion also fell. FSC Sports loses Leafion. Knocked on 5 actually has a chance to maybe go forward. We have 40 points. No, the Richie Lakey ran out of time. <laughs> As Shannon Luce swings his arm around. Thinking he's... Uh, ben, how's the guy called? The swimmer, Phelps, whatever his name is. Yes, we have 190 points going in for FSC Sports now. Michael Phelps. Flailing his arms around. Trying to score those points. But the Regilecki just ran out of time. The Regilecki ran out of time. I can't. 78, 190 points now. They lose four members in this attempt to break the goal on the Regilecki. That is not worth it for sure. As we now have level 11 for Venusaur, level 11 for Leafion as well. And as Venusaur is so deadly again, you gotta be very careful. But oh, Stonex getting caught right here. Gets a taken down. Milok as well onto Blissey. Can they tell him Blissey someone they walk into a big solar beam right here? Slash is gonna slow all of them down as well. Yes, they're gonna take so much damage trying to chase on this Blissey. You now we have Blasters going in. We're thinking Nightwolf right here, knocking up three members. Two instantly go down. Blasters with a huge flank. As he's gonna try to chase some Buzzful as well. He's gonna slow him down with a boost auto attack. Surf Hydro Pump. Or Surf Eject Button Hydro Pump. Nicely done. As he picks himself up. Yet another KO. Red is now getting started by FS Esports. And they're gonna secure it quite easily. Leaf Blade's gonna secure it. And FS Esports are in a great position. Clone 5, you have to make something happen. As I say, that they actually get Blastoise. He gets caught. There's a lot of experience going over to Clone 5, but 45 and 30 points go in for the two carries of FS Esports. As they're gonna increase the lead now by almost 200 points. Lefemi trying to break the goal. Is this really like even worth it? How low is the goal? I mean, I guess still breaking the goal is still fine in the end, doesn't matter what. They're gonna go forward, they're gonna try to do something right here, looking for the team fight instead. As Vigilecki is now pushing in. FS Esports could just maybe drop the goal, and that's exactly what they're going to do. This is gonna make the goal fall. What a block here onto Glacion, cannot move. A perfect block by Snorlax. Locks Leafion in place between him and the wall. As Glacion gets KO'd by the Venusaur. What a huge block by Snorlax. Clefabian just running through, just going to score some more points. Stacking up the special specs, doesn't really matter if it goes down right here. But Blair now, level 13 on this Venusaur. It's going to be super, super scary. 1.30 to go. This would be the finest stretch for one of those teams. And then India is going to have a huge break, so... If you drop out of this tournament, I think there's nothing really happening in the next few months, so you gotta, you know, it's uh, it's a bit unfortunate. So of course you wanna probably play a few more games. As we have one more bottom Virgie spawning in just 25 seconds. I think late game wise FSC Sports is for sure much better. Just the Blaster is Venus or Unite Move combo is just so deadly as well. Actually, if you could have maybe Unite Move right here still. It's 250, you can Unite Move at like 3 minutes easily on Leafeon and get back up in time, but I guess he was probably scared of getting mean locked. Even if he Unite Moves then he's gonna get mean locked and then he might trade one for one. For one Umbreon KO, which is not, just not worth it, so... And it's probably smart not to go in. I wanna get caught by mean lock as he is level 14 now. So another free Reggie Steel as well for the side of FS Esports. I'm gonna pick this up right here. That's gonna be so much damage on Leafeon, so much damage. On Venusaur as, yeah, uh, as well. More attack, more special attack. More healing from Blissey. Always remember that Registeel is going to buff the healing of your healing supports. So I think that's actually one of the best things as well about the Registeel buff. As we have 50 points going in for Leafy and the fight's gonna break out though now. We have one person getting caught right here. It's Norlex. And Oakland 5 can just go for Rekwaza maybe. 100 points going for Leafy and they have a huge point lead. Clone 5 is going to try to zone on this Venusaur. Blasters stuck in a bad position. Oh, Blasters come through into Blasters Unite. They're going to keep their tank alive for now. As Blasters is going to fly back up. But he doesn't have enough damage right now. This, this fight is a complete mess. As Blissey is going to fall right here. Leafy is going to jump up. And Leafy in the late game just does no damage. Two members down now. As Rekwaza is getting started by FS Esports. No Venusaur Unite either. Snorlax less Unite. So just try to peer. Or as carry. Blasters is going to fall. And Clone 5 now with a chance to secure this Rekwaza. It's all down to Venusaur. Can he snipe it away somehow? But they, they know about it. They're going to try to zone him. They're going to go for Rekwaza now. Can he, he's going to eject button forward looking for the beam. But they all stop hitting it. Wonderfully played by Clown 5 as they secure the Rekwaza. 
That was perfectly played. They played it calm and safe. Make sure that Venusaur has no chance of sniping it. Or stop damaging it as well to make sure that Venusaur has to do something. 100 points go in. But they're still only in a 4 point lead, but now the point lead is so much. And I think that's going to be it. Clown5 takes a win 2-1 over FS Esports, which means FS Esports will be 6th place and will be out. And we're going to see Clown5 in the next best of 3 again.